Just a hello. So just a, a quick demo about uh, the for me uh, what I'm doing with uh, FT8. So of course I'm using FT8 to contact some amateur radio, but mostly I'm using FT8 to uh, to check the propagation. So here you have a, a kind of rollout, you know, with a different color. So here this is a 40 megahertz. I'm using a a long wire antenna, so it's mostly omnidirectional. So you see, according with uh, the different spot, it's the color is referring to a frequency. So here you see the live decoding. So you can notice I have a 40 meter, 30 meter, uh, 15 meters, and uh, 12 meters. Yeah, I put a four frequency. So how I'm doing that? So mostly I'm using a uh, a Hermes light is here. So the Hermes light. I have a dedicated script and also I'm using Spark. Sorry about that. Spark uh, SDR. Oh, sorry. So I'm using Spark SDR. So this is a uh, this software and you notice here I can supervise few frequency at the same time. So with the Hermes light, according with uh, the different firmware or they call that gateware you can use, you can go up, if I'm not mistaken, up to 11 receiver at the same time. So here the firmware I'm using is only for four but it's more than enough and because uh, when it's day or night I'm using uh, only four frequency that's more than enough so here this is the evening so i put uh, 40 12 uh, 21 megahertz on 30 on a uh, yeah 10 megahertz so the spark is here is able to uh, decode ft8 mode the four frequency at the same time and push the, the data to grip tracker here. So how to push the data is quite it's not automatic of course you need a script. So the script is running in the background here. So I show you here yeah, the script. So it's a batch file here. I'm running a script to open with notepad so this is the script the tool it's uh, provided uh, by uh, amateur radio name oh sorry I fo forgot the name K1 Romeo Alpha so this uh, old man and thanks for that to uh, make this little script on in order for the web socket to push the UDP uh, to the UDP port all the, the data decoded by the FT8 by uh, Spark SDR, SDR, sorry, to grip tracker here. So according with that, most of the time what I'm doing, I'm running the, uh, this tool uh, continuously and immediately I know where the propagation is good. It's automatic, you just have a look. So for here, here for, for example, for this frequency, it's not good. Here for 40, mega, for, for, uh, for 40 meters, it's quite good because I can have a South America on the uh, US. This frequency is mostly located, yeah, and so on and so on. So there is a rollout with a buffering on this rollout on display automatically on your main screen where the spot, the system can uh, retrieve the spot. So for that, not so good. Yeah, not so, so good. It's another frequency, I think it's uh, 20 meters band. And here, 40 meters band. So it's not so bad. Huh? So immediately, I can go on CW mode or USB mode. Check here the level, according with the level I receive. So if the level is about uh, minus two, minus four, minus five, more, most, most here I know I can do you, um, uh, voice voice mode SSB mode when it's from minus 6 to minus 13 I know mostly this is CW mode so this is how I manage the 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 propagation the on it's not so bad in fact it's quite efficient it's me it's uh, it's provide me uh, an immediate status of the propagation on yeah ready to go
Thank you very much for following 73.